Hey guys, check this out. So I'm at the grocery store and it looks like a normal gray minivan, right? Nope, that's an undercover police car. <laughs> oh, Colonial Heights never change. Good morning, campers. Um, it's late. I would actually recorded another vlog for uh, for today already. Well, I should probably block the light because uh, it, it just does not look good with me in front of the light. Um, yeah, so, how about that? Is that better? That looks better. Um, still an, ah, so much light. Yeah, so, weather today, I lucked out. Um, I was a little bit wrong about where that was, uh, where the, uh, where the main bullseye for today's severe weather was going to be. Uh, instead of between Fayetteville and Virginia Beach, it was more like between Charlotte and, um, and then, uh, Northern Neck Peninsula in Virginia. So much bigger, uh, much bigger bullseye of bad weather and, uh, put me in the middle of it as well. Uh, I got pretty lucky. They, um, most of the bad storms went around my hometown. We got a little bit of hail, nothing too serious. And, uh, I had parked my car very, very carefully, um, under shelter from a, a box truck that was kind of blocking it from getting hit by pretty much anything. It was awesome. Uh, my truck was at my car, despite being outside in hail and a torrential downpour, was barely even wet when I left work. <laughs> just because I parked it at just the right angle behind a box truck. It was amazing. Um... Uh, yeah, I had recorded this vlog earlier because there was a, uh, I had what I thought was an interesting dilemma. I, as I've, I've mentioned in a couple of other blogs, I'm trying to get a new job and I've got a very promising discussion with a, uh, with a, um, potential new employer out in the, uh, out in very long way away, Western United States. And that's been going pretty well, but, uh, I got a call earlier today. This is Wednesday, I might add. This is today's Wednesday. Got a call earlier today from a recruiter from another company. Offered me immediate, like Tuesday, like fly fly out to Utah and do training and be employed and making money in two weeks. And that seemed really promising because I, I knew that their pay starts out kind of crappy. Like, if you can get the training done really fast, it's a little bit better off than this other company I'm, I'm talking to in the short term. But in the long term, their pay is kind of, you know, crap compared to other similar similar companies. And uh, so I knew that going in. But uh, compared to my current job, both of these potential jobs pay way better. So, uh, <laughs> and, um, so I was definitely considering it. And, uh, so I was, the debate in my mind was that I'm having a very tight month, uh, financially because, um, one of my paychecks for this month was pretty bad because it included several days of missed work due to snowfall in this area. It was not good. In my mind, math wise, it would have been best for me financially to go out, do this training for less than two weeks and get into this job and making money for the second half of March. And that would have put me in a very good position to have all my bills caught up and start actually making student loan payments and all that. Um, whereas this other job I'm talking to, I might not even be in March that I get out there if, if at all. Um, could be as late as June if I'm unlucky. They do paid training, but it takes longer. So it's um not as good pay. It's like about what actually is about what I make now, but you're also paying for your own meals and stuff while you're out there. So that would be an interesting, interesting bit of balancing to do. Ideally, I'm going to have it set up with this, this potential job to where I go out there and this happens right at the start of a month. So I, all my bills are paid and then I still get one more paycheck from my old job while I'm still getting the, the new paychecks from the new job. Um, and then I'll kind of help balance that out. But then once you actually get in and your training's finished with this job, it pays so much better. So in the long run, it would be way better off. So all I'd have to do is just keep, all I'd have to do is succeed and look at the camera. All I have to do is actually make it work and I'll be way better off. So 
So I was weighing those two as though they were fairly equal and that the only question mark was, do I take my second choice because it's available now or do I wait and go for my first choice? Um, then I started doing a little more research on my second choice and it turns out, no, no, they're not good. Uh, they've got like only like a third of the people they bring out there make it through their training and most of those do it after multiple training sessions. So I could have been out there for as much as a month or two without making any money while I'm still supposed to be paying rent on this apartment that I'm in here uh, halfway across the country because I'm locked into this lease for uh, six more, eight more months this year, um, which is a major factor in getting all this to work. So that would not have been good had that happened to me. So I'm really glad I actually did that research and didn't just like jump on that and say, yes, get me out there. I want to go now. Um, even though that was the advice I was getting from coworkers and that sort of thing. They're like, oh yeah, that opportunity sounds amazing. Of course, I didn't have all the information I was describing it to them. So they're all like, yeah, that does sound amazing. Go for it. Um, glad I didn't. Very glad I didn't. So I guess I'll be around here for a little bit longer, huh? I should probably go record something because I still haven't recorded any Fallout for this week and I need to get something up on Thursday or Friday. So I'm actually going to go run and record American Truck Simulator right now just because that game is very fun. I'm enjoying that a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'm sticking around for now. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get lucky and something magical will happen and my first choice job opportunity will open up and it'll be amazing and wonderful and I'll be out there in no time. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> it's nice to talk about things I don't get to talk about. So this is actually the second vlog I've recorded today because the first one just got thrown out because that was before I did my research on this. I was like all conflicted and it was like, it was in the dark in a car. I didn't realize how bad lighting was. You could, literally could not see anything. It was like, nothing. Um, so yeah, that got thrown away. It was live for like two minutes. Someone watched it. I don't know who. It might've actually just been me um, going into the edit thing. Cause YouTube likes to sometimes count me editing a video as uh, like a description or something as a view. Possibly someone saw that vlog, which is me sitting in a dark car, just agonizing over this decision that's turned out not to have been that hard at all. The plan, I was right next to railroad tracks. The plan was for a train to go by at some point and I would get a picture of it and be like, oh look, there's a cool train, but no, that didn't happen. Uh, I do have something cool to add on to this. It's going to be, actually it was probably at the beginning, the uh, <laughs> undercover Colonial Heights um, police van. They're, they're fun people. It's a uh, undercover cop car that does uh, mostly runs radar uh, mixed in with traffic most of the time I sometimes just pulled over on the side of the road it's got a tiny little light bar on top so you can't really tell it's an undercover police car until it turns those on they're very bright it's you there's no mistaking the fact that you're being pulled over by a police officer when that minivan pulls up behind you and turns on those lights it's amazing um but yeah i got i got to get a picture of that today so enjoy that and uh, I did my outro ages ago. My name's Elio Dare, Azure Angel 17 on Twitch, Twitter, Xbox Live, and Steam. Drop in, say hi, let me know what you think of the vlogging stuff. I'm enjoying it. And have a great day.